and welcome. It is drunk pokeroo time. It is Mrs. Pokeroo time. It is stout day time. Stout day. Mrs. Pokeroo's favorite day, even though it falls on a Thursday. It'd be much better if it was on a Friday. Much better, yeah. However, so we will. We I'm never one to miss a day of beer, so we will honor the stout day. But we have a few more we'll probably enjoy this weekend. But today, I will let you, Mrs. Pope, tell you about the beer before we open it. All right, so uh, when we went on our uh, Pokeroo trip to Highlander um, in South River, um, we were toured by Brian. Brian, thank you very much. Um, and uh, not only did we get to sample beer right off the tanks. That's pretty cool. He, uh, it was pretty cool. Um, he had this winter beer that he gave us personally from his own stash. Um, and I wanted to open it there, but I was told I wasn't allowed to, um, because we had more driving to do. So, we have been debating when the perfect time to open this is, and hey, it's International Stout Day. Sounds so, like a perfect day. So, in this is Watermelt Hops Yeast, Cinnamon Ginger Orange Rind. This is from last year, so this has been sitting in Brian's cellar for a year. It's 10%. It is a corked beer, as you can see. We had an issue, our, our cork thing doesn't work so good anymore. However, with a little bit of effort. Just gonna move this out of the way, just in case. One can get what one needs out of the bottle. We're gonna buy a new, it's coming. new, new, new corker, because this one is not very good. Yeah, it's broken. Yeah, it's been a rough, rough go. It's been around for many, many years. However, patience is its own virtue. And it's coming. We're going to hear a pop in a second. Every time he has a cork, I get scared since he almost killed me on our wedding day. Glass first. Now, so. beautiful bottle. Um, if I can ever get that video, figure out how to edit that video, I will put that footage up of me almost killing you <laughs> with the cork. This close. I felt the breeze. It almost hit me in the forehead on our wedding day. I can smell that. Hang on a a little more. I just want to give a little room to breathe. Mm. Now we do have proper Highlander glasses. However, to properly enjoy a stout, one must put it in a snifter. We've had our Highlander glasses out as well. That's it. But really, yeah. we need props. All we need is this ten okay. percent. So I even gave you right. a little bit more. Okay, so this is how it works. Thank you to Brian. Thank you so yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, Happy Stout Day to all of our friends. Happy I hope day. you enjoyed a stout today. If oh, not, I hope you enjoy one tomorrow. Deliciously spicy. All right, well, let's get into right. it. Cheers. Happy Stout Day. Cheers. Happy Stout Day. It's like Christmas for you. Wow. That aged beautifully. beautifully. That is super smooth. Yeah. It's spicy. I definitely taste the cinnamon, a little bit of the orange. I'm actually sad that we don't have another one. <laughs> I don't know if we can handle another one of those. Um, so this is over a year old. This was last year's batch, and it's really smoothed out. There is definitely some warming booze on the back, but not in a, an offensive way, like not where it's, you're, you're going to feel mm -mm. Uh, boozy afterwards. It's definitely, it's 10%. 10% is... A, a nice level for for an imperial style stout. So does that mean that it's only five percent since we're only, only half? half a glass? Yeah, no, it's just ten, still ten percent. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. for me, the roastiness, the dark, the dark chocolate really mends well with the cinnamon. The cinnamon is not overdone like in a pumpkin mm -hmm. beer. It adds to it. It gives a little bit of heat on the back end. There's a little bit of warming booze, but just a deliciously made balanced stout. What do you think? Since you're the stout lady. <laughs> it's delicious. It's got it's got all the hallmarks of a of a, of a mm. classic stout, with a little bit of that. The spices come through. Very impressive. Thank you, Brian. Uh, we would not have gotten this. We do have a bottle of spring, which we're going to have to get into, which I think we're going to save for the first snowfall. Yes. Because it's a very interesting spring. Beer. And, yeah. But uh, other than that, I think this is going to go slow sip. I pulled this out of the fridge a while ago because I wanted it to be cellar temperature. You want you know. You don't want it to be cold, cold. No, I mean, I always say around 10 degrees for me is where mm -hmm. I want it, which is cellar temperature. 
Um, you don't want it ice cold unless you do, and then you do. I think you're missing something if it's ice cold. I think this stout is going to release more. It's going to get smoother as it warms up. When it gets to you know, 10, uh, 12, 15 degrees, it's going to be excellent. Anyways, I digress because I can go on and on about uh, mm -hmm. how much fun we had at Highlander and Brian. So thank you again, yeah. Brian. Um, we will go and enjoy this, and I will probably have one or two more, and Mrs. Polk will be in bed sleeping soundly when hers is finished. Yes. Cheers to you, my friends. Cheers. Happy Stout Day, everybody. Happy Stout Day. What Happy a great day. day. I love Stout Day. Stout Day is like my favorite. Well, IPA Day. I like IPA Day, too. I'm not much of a fan of IPA Day. So can I do a Stout on IPA Day? I think that's okay. I'll allow it. Okay. I'm like some kind of authority, apparently, now. All right. Cheers. Cheers.